नमस्कार वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू ऑल दी व्यूअर्स एंड लर्नर्स इन दिस वेरी स्पेशल सेशन ऑफ सी आई टी एंड सी आर टी आई एम रेणु भट्ट विद यू ऑल एंड यू आर वॉचिंग अस लाइव ऑन ई विद्या चैनल चैनल नंबर फोर एंड अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस चैनल यू आर विद ऑन आर यूट्यूब चैनल एज वेल दैट इज एन सी ई आर टी ऑफिशियल एंड एन सी ई आर टी पी एम ई विद्या क्लास नंबर फोर and dear learners as you can see i am accompanied by our sign language interpreter let's meet her you are miss savri rohila savri very warm welcome and dear learner this is for this session is for teaching learning interventions for inclusive classrooms where we try to enhance our knowledge towards inclusive classroom setups so in this particular session what we are going to study and learn this session is for english fourth standard students and the topic is the naughty boy and you can easily figure out that it's a poem about a naughty boy a boy that is very naughty so where he is from and what he is doing in this particular poem for these details we have joined by our experts let's meet her you are miss namrata amar very warm welcome ma'am thank so you very much ka. thank you and dear learners and viewers ma'am is senior special educator and governing board member uh, from mano vikas charitable society and if you have any query related to this particular poem you can reach out to us through our various medium you can call us on our telephone number that is 8800440559 either you can drop a mail as well our email address is dth.class4@cit.nic.in and in case you have joined by our live streaming that means you are on our youtube channels then you have to go to the live chat box and then only you can drop your comments out there our expert will be happy to answer all your queries and doubts if you have any and if you want to know more about naughty boy then please reach out to us and ma'am let's begin this particular session and i'm quite sure our learners are quite curious and they want to know more about naughty boy so who is he so here comes the naughty boy okay <laughs> hello hello hey. everyone you can see i have weared a different dress up i am hmm. in a different dress up and he is quite happy yeah he is a wanderer and he roams around the world this boy is from scotland let's that's why he is wearing a skirt ma'am yes okay so let's go to the chapter hmm so here comes the chapter uh you this is a naughty boy hmm. the naughty boy was he he ran away to scotland the people there to see then he found that the ground was as hard was as that a yard was as long that a song was as merry that a cherry was as red that lead was a weighty that four score was as 80 that a door was as wooden as is england so he stood in his shoes and he wondered he wondered he stood in his shoes and he wondered hmm. this poem is by john keat okay yeah. so it's a beautiful poem indeed and i'm quite impressed by that boy um although they say he is a naughty boy but uh, i'm quite sure he's quite confident boy right yes that's why he's a wanderer <laughs> yeah hmm so ma'am this is a wonderful poem indeed uh, if we talk about nep or if we talk about our inclusive classroom setups like so how you can make this particular poem more interesting in that uh, class ma'am inclusive classroom if we talk about inclusive classroom and interventions ma'am so let's see uh, i would like you to focus on my uh, table so this is a naughty boy and i have printed it out in a large print hmm. can you see it this yes, is in a large print so the children who are unable to see hmm. yeah they have a low vision for them this is done in a large print hmm. and i have also highlighted few important points over there okay i have also noted down the meaning mm -hmm. in a flap chart similarly i have underlined important things for children who are having 
specific learning disabilities they are hmm. unable to focus on the whole matter at a hmm. same time so for hmm. them we can also use a magnifying glass hmm. which we can put on each line and the whole hmm. concentration will be on that line and that line will be enlarged by this magnifying hmm. uh, glass hmm. so this will enable them to concentrate and focus on that particular line and they will be uh, more easy for them to reach out right और ये तो हमारे स्पेशल नीड स्टूडेंट्स की बात हुई मैम हम अगर और बात करना चाहें तो किस तरीके से वो और अच्छे माध्यम से ये जो कविता है ये जो पोएम है उसे पढ़ सकते हैं मैम वॉट आर अदर इंटरवेंशन सो लाइक आपने एन ई पी की बात करी एन ई पी है या राइट्स ऑफ पर्सन विद डिसबिलिटीज़ हैं वो सब कहते हैं कि हमें यूनिवर्सली डिजाइंड मोड से पढ़ाना चाहिए ताकि hmm. हमारे सारे बच्चे उसमें इन्वॉल्व हो सकें सो दिस टेक्स मी टू माई अनादर स्लाइड विच गिवस अस द इंटरवेंशंस हेल्पिंग टीचर टू मेक देयर लेसन मोर यूनिवर्सली डिजाइंड सो लेट मी टेक यू टू डिजिटल एक्सेसिबिलिटी ऑफ दीक्षा पोर्टल दिस इज एन ई पाठशाला पोर्टल जस्ट uh i heartily congratulate ncert for making our education so easy mm. nowadays everything is on our desktop in e mode so in diksha portal we can go to class from first to class 12th mm. and all the subjects and this is very accessible everybody can reach out to this portal mm. uh, and nowadays we have e smart uh, smart boards in our classes mm. so this will be very easy for teachers to inculcate mm. diksha portal here we can see that they have provided e textbook e textbook which can be enlarged so in smart board also the children who mm. are uh, who have low vision so we can enlarge this print like this okay so this will be very easy for them hmm. to read out hmm. each chapter and one more facility which is given here is that this content can be seen in a different mode also unit 10 the naughty boy so this is Pinocchio. audio and visual hmm. mode Page so all the children mainstream children they can access this uh, mode and learn it poem, beautifully the not it choose and he wondered poem written by john keats page 165 new words forward b not it right. walk now backwards. let's go to its different C, mode fall down d do a funny trick e walk on tiptoes f drag your feet g spin around so we have been talking about children who are having difficulty in vision hmm. Hmm. so there are also children who have difficulty in hearing right so they are uh, speech and language hmm. disability people and they are hearing impaired people hmm. for them also ncert has done a wonderful job hmm. and from class 1 to class 5th they have uh, translated into a sign language mode hmm. so let's let me take you to the sign language portion of hmm. Diksha portal. So from here, was a, as merry that a cherry, was as red that lead, was as weighty. That four score was as eighty. That a door was as wooden as in England. So he stood in his shoes. and he wondered he wondered he stood in his shoes and he wondered hmm so, so. Uh, Diksha portal hmm. and NCERT has done a wonderful job hmm. and I thank them for this hmm. so this has made it a universally designed mode of hmm. teaching and learning thing hmm. so that was the diksha portal ma'am 
and if you talk about inclusive classroom right without uh, where we don't have any uh, whiteboard or smart board or uh, e portals right in that in that class what other interventions can be done ma'am right so as i have shown you earlier mm -hmm. teacher can be very creative yeah like a hmm. puppet hmm. she can introduce puppet in the right. class hmm. she can uh, in large print she can take out the thing from hmm. the book hmm. so make it more accessible for children hmm. having specific learning disabilities hmm. and also for children having low vision hmm. right and then they can use markers they can use hmm. uh, printers they can use magnifiers hmm. for children uh, to make it a more accessible hmm. Hmm. learning and for those who are unable to see hmm. like blind people hmm. what to do with them hmm. so we can introduce braille books for them okay so hmm. braille books you can collect from uh, national institute for persons with visual impairment dehradun Hmm. or in delhi there is national association for blind hmm. which provide all the textbooks ncert hmm. textbooks hmm. in braille mode hmm. so, and i have also brought a uh, braille slate hmm. to show you out there so this is a six dot combination uh, let me show you here hmm. like a b c d and this is a braille slate Okay. This is a smaller version for writing notes and down, and I have a full page braille slate. Okay. So, uh, children having visual impairment and totally blind children, they can use braille uh, books, textbooks for them. Hmm. And children who have hearing impairment, hmm. so for them, we can use Savari for sign language interpretation. Hmm. otherwise te teacher can use indian sign language we hmm. have now our own sign language that is indian sign language hmm. i am showing you few of the signs in this hmm. so teacher and student everybody will love to learn this new sign language so all children in the class hmm. will be happy to talk in sign language hmm. then there will be no noise in the class and teacher will hmm. not punish them for making noise in the <laughs> class <laughs> right <laughs> that is so true that is so true and uh, ma'am that was the interventions it uh, if you talk about that particular poem uh, again so that was a wonderful poem as there is a small boy that is he is very naughty actually but he is visiting so many places right, right. Uh, there was a uh, country name that is scotland right yeah, right so if because we are uh, in india right now we are in the indian uh, indian nation if we talk about other nations other country of the uh, world so how can uh, you introduce all the uh, countries to students ma'am so again here comes the creativity of teacher hmm. teacher can introduce a map hmm. to the children on map it can be made tactile tactile or you can highlight the countries you are talking hmm. about like here i have highlighted england and scotland, scotland. and so we, we can make that uh, particular map tactile yes okay. any map hmm. so we can get a europe map where we can have more broader countries and we can make it tactile by putting suji on it by putting sad on it hmm. for children who are having visual impairment hmm. i have also brought globe with me hmm. so this globe is also modified globe okay. i have modified the equator hmm. by putting a thread on it hmm. and i can show england and scotland again hmm. by making it tactile okay by putting sand on it hmm. by putting any sand paper on it hmm. so children having visual impairment can touch the globe and get the feel of the countries hmm. okay okay so ma'am what other activities can a teacher Uh, do in this classroom for this particular poem ma'am so for this poem as i said we have to have a multi sensory learning approach hmm. so we can't just make them sit in front and 
read out the poem we have to involve them in different activities mm. where they can use their hands their feet mm. so after in this poem also uh, there is exercise where teacher are supposed to perform few activities with mm. children making them walk making them learn uh, run and making them walk backward and mm. forward and sitting down and all these things so these exercises are for all children mm. but children who are unable to see hmm how will we make it inclusive for them these hmm. activities so there is a uh, old saying that peer tutoring or buddy hmm. system we hmm. can use buddy system where a, their classmate will help them to perform all these activities with teacher okay. like there are also art and craft activities hmm. where buddy will help children with special needs which will create a strong bond between mainstream child and mm. children with mm. special needs and this will in uh, lead to uh, inclusive society at large and making them life very comfortable and accessible okay so ma'am uh, what is the message for all the viewers and learners ma'am in this word in this poem so this poem says that the child move from run away from england and move to Scotland. Scotland and there he sees everything he sees like yard he sees the sculptures hmm. the castles and he see everything same as in England okay yeah hmm. here he said that he found the ground as hard as it was in England hmm. he found the yard as long as it was in the England hmm. the songs were as merry as they were in the England hmm. then he says that cherry was as red as it was in England okay. and the lead was as weighty as it was in England so, no such so everything was same okay. there also that's why he stood in his shoes and he wondered hmm. wondered what is this everything is same hmm. here and okay. there hmm. so this is the story hmm. but we need to explore our world hmm. so he is a very intelligent and naughty boy hmm. and giving us a lesson that we should move out and explore our world definitely we need to explore the world and we need to explore this poem as well ma'am so there are so many rhyming words right could you yeah. please explain to them to all the viewers ma'am so rhyming words are the words which when we pronunciate they rhyme rhythmically okay right? hmm. so like found hmm. in the poem we have a word found hmm. what is the rhyming word for found ground let's see i have few rhyming words with me hmm. for our children with special needs hmm. so found makes a rhyming word of ground hmm. right right and weighty then naughty cherry and merry hmm these are the rhyming words ma'am we are actually unable to see the third one ma'am okay hmm now can i yes. can we see this so you must have noted that i have made them in the similar color hmm why so can you guess Mm, because they are rhyming is it yes they are rhyming so i can write them with different colors also but i have written them in similar colors why because cherry is red cherry is red <laughs> so is mary <laughs> so is mary you are right so when we are talking about an inclusive mm. classroom mm. we also have children with intellectual disabilities okay so children having low intelligence children also having high intelligence mm. we also have children with autism mm. we also have children with specific learning disabilities mm. so to make things easier and comfortable for them i have written them in the similar color hmm. so while juggling up and finding words it will be easy for them to relate hmm. apart from speaking out hmm. the rhyming words like cherry mary hmm. yeah you can yeah. listen and you can see also so hmm. audio and visual mode both modes are used while teaching them these words okay so i also have few more rhyming words mm -hmm. which are from this poem hmm. i would like you to see and sure. go through these words 
hmm. like long and song. We have yard, we also have hard, we have lead and we have red. Hmm. So, these are also rhyming words. Again, I have written in a printed mode, hmm. not in my handwritten mode. So, when we teach children with special needs, we need to take care of how to present material to them. So, this is a print mode and this is in a semicolor hmm. and rest depends on the creativity of the teacher. Okay, fine. So, ma'am, we still have couple of minutes. So, can we uh, recapitulate the poem? Okay. So, let us see the poem again. This naughty boy, what hmm. does he do? This naughty boy, here is the naughty boy and here is the poem. So, hmm. this poem is written by John Keats. Hmm. So, we have to make them learn John Keats hmm. because he is the poet. Hmm. So, the naughty boy, there was a naughty boy. One more thing, we need to module our voice hmm. right? to make it interesting hmm. for children with to all the children in that class. Sure. So, the naughty boy, there was a naughty boy and a naughty boy was he. He ran away to Scotland, the people there to see, then the ground then he found that the ground was as hard. What is hard? Hmm. How can you explain hard? How can ma'am? So, we can present them different textures to them hmm. like uh, stone, hmm. tabletop, these hmm. are hard thing. Hmm. We can provide the opposite of it also, okay. soft. Hmm. My sari is soft, hmm. we have soft toys. Hmm. So, we can provide opposite words with objects to make the concept clear to yeah. children with hmm. special needs. Hmm. Right. So, hmm. again the creativity of the class teacher or a right. subject teacher comes plays a very important role hmm. in uh, universal design and making the learning accessible for all the children in the class. Hmm. Uh, like long and short. Hmm. How can we show them long and short? Hmm. Long stick, short, short stick. stick. Hmm. Very easy. So, teacher can use their activities of daily living hmm. and their material which she is with in a class hmm. and make all these things, the concepts clear to children hmm. in the same class. In this chapter also, there are many concepts which can hmm. be taken care of right. while teaching this hmm. poem. Hmm. Right. So, like they have uh, mentioned cherry, hmm. but from a person in a rural area, hmm. they might not be knowing what is cherry. cherry. Hmm. So, what should teacher do? Either she can bring picture of cherry, hmm. but that will be very limited exposure to them. Hmm. So, if a teacher can bring cherry to them, hmm. that will be an amazing experience for hmm. the children. Hmm. So, teachers should explore these things and bring real cherries for them. So, can they can taste them, they can feel it and they can enjoy cherry hmm. while reading in book and hmm. poem. And I guess it is a lifetime experience, yeah. they will remember it. <laughs> yes. Hmm. So, this child that the door was as wooden. Now, what is wooden? Hmm. Wooden is made up of, made up of wood. wood. Hmm. And we have everything in class made of wood, table, right. chair and hmm. everything. So, which brings me to my <laughs> beautiful uh, homework which I will share with you Definitely in a few moment. Up. And uh, as you are talking about homework, dear learners, it is time for us to move towards our keywords section. Ma'am, you must be having keywords for this session, right? And yeah. As usual, we have three keywords for this session, dear learners and viewers. Our first keyword is naughty. Second keyword is ground. Third one is weighty. So, those were the keywords for this session, ma'am. You must be having homework as you were talking about. Uh, yeah, let us go to our homework, which right. is very interesting. It is a fun time activity. So, 
Look for 20 objects around yourself at home and put them under the things that they are made of. Metal, wood, hmm. rubber and cloth. You must be having ma'am modified homework. Yeah, for our children with special needs, I have modified and adapted this work. So here parents or sibling will help the child to hold, touch and feel. This is how the child will know about that object. Hmm. So they need to have at least 16 objects from their home and ask him or her to categorize them into again metal, wood, rubber or cloth. So the modification is that child will need someone hmm. who can explain them especially for children who are having visual impairment, visual issues and children with autism hmm. and children with specific learning disabilities. So at in classroom they have buddy system, peer, to, uh, peer help. Hmm. At home, their siblings and their parents can help, help them, them in performing their task. So, ye to raha homework. Ab hum aate apne homework submission format for dear learners and viewers. This is our format. And first, you have to write your name, then your class, then your school name and address, then today's experts name, aaj ke session ki date, then your photograph. That is completely optional. और उसे आपको भेजना हमारे ईमेल एड्रेस पे जो है dth.class4 at the rate cit.nic.in So we are waiting for your participation in huge numbers dear learners you can reach out to us through our various medium and we want your participation your homework and ma'am uh, we still have one more minute anything that you want to add in it ma'am you want to say something to our learners so dear learners or teachers I would say <laughs> <laughs> right so our policy makers have made a beautiful policy national education policy and rights of person with disabilities act so it is the duty of teacher to make this class very interesting inclusive and she should use universal design of learning to make all the children hmm. participate and perform and learn to the fullest in your class. So, here's to our creative teachers that will make it happen. Hmm. Sure, and we all know we have very creative teachers and we have very creative students as well. So, you need to follow all those interventions in your class so that your class makes more interesting to all these students. Ma yeah. So, it's time for me to wrap up this session, but let me thank our expert Namrata ma'am. Thank you so very much. Thank you very much, Rene. Thank you, ma'am, for this wonderful poem and your wonderful uh, activities and TLMs. And thank you so very much, Savri. And thank you so very much to all the viewers and learners who are with us throughout this session. And it was a wonderful poem indeed, The Naughty Boy. And there was a boy who was visiting and roaming around the world. And you must also explore the world, dear learners and viewers, so that you can learn a lot of things out there. So, me, Renu Bhatt, is taking your leave, but you stay tuned to eVidya channels and NCRT officials and NCERT PM eVidya class number 4 for more programs. And me, Renu Bhatt, is taking your leave. Namaskar.